Hey everyone, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Today, I'm gonna to show you what my day is looking like. A little bit, it's completely a blizzard here in Utah. So today, we are going to do a video testing out the new Tati Blendiful Puff. Um, <laughs> I made a video cutting this one open and uh, a lot of people did not like that. Um, and I get it, I understand why. First of all, I spent my money on it, it wasn't free. Um, so if I can choose to do whatever I want with my sponge. But I do understand where people were kind of annoyed with what I did, but I really, it wasn't a plan. I did it really genuinely wanting to know what was inside. And then I got a lot of comments of people talking about the way that I speak and why am I talking so quiet or why am I, why do you do you talk like that? And, um, okay, first of all, I am genuine, genuinely a quiet person, like, and generally a quiet person. When I speak to people, I speak quietly. Um, I have a raspier voice, so um, it's just how I speak. It's not uh, for YouTube, it's just how I am. And I apologize that it is has made it hard to hear some of my videos, and so I'm gonna try to speak up a little bit. I did order a mic, so I'm waiting for that to come in. Um, which may help. So I'm trying a little harder right now to speak louder um, than I normally would because this is not normally how I would speak in a conversation with people. Um, and I try to talk to you guys the way I would speak to you if you were in front of me. I get that I need to speak up and I apologize if it has made it difficult to hear me. And I meant no disrespect. I, I love Tati. I own two of her palettes actually. One, um, cause I've already like beat up my other one. And so I just kind of wanted a new one. I'm going to do half my face with this and half my face with my regular sponge. Sorry, it's dirty. I'm a regular person. I clean my sponge probably about once a week. Um, I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild foundation. I was gonna use a new one that I wanted to test out, but I just thought I'm, I wanna use something that I know already that I like. If you um, didn't like my last video, I'm sorry. It wasn't a planned video. I didn't come on here thinking, oh, I'm going to destroy a sponge that I paid my hard-earned money for. No, I did that simply, well, obviously, because I didn't know what that sponge was gonna sound like. I didn't hear anybody talking about that in any of the um, videos that I watched um, before I received it. I didn't hear one person mention that it was crunchy and that it sounded different than the um, other sponge. So when I got it and I saw that, I was like, I wanna know what's in here. Um, only because when you make a statement as bold as this is a game changer. Well, I want to know what a game changer looks like inside. You know what I mean? Like, that's just me. Um, I had already placed an order for another one. So I knew that I had that coming. So I wasn't really too worried about not having it because I do want to use it. I do plan on carrying that with me. And now I'm going to use this Tati Puff, which makes me kind of sad I don't want to get it dirty. But um, I have seen people using this and it made their foundation look really pretty. So I'm hoping that, you know, that's what's gonna happen. That it's just gonna be like how she said, a game changer. Um, well, that was fast, that I will say. That was really, really quick. And I ran out of foundation for my forehead. Not because this thing, um, Puff took up all the foundation, but because I used it on the other side of my face. <laughs> I can hear my dog. 
Okay, so yeah, so right off the bat, I will say that this was really, really a quick way. Um, I will say that I did not get the coverage on this side that I did on this side. So I will add a little bit more because I don't know if it's because I made, did I put too much on the other side? I don't know, but let's uh, fix that and see what happens if it's like taking my foundation away or if it is um that i didn't use enough like now they're even pretty even okay so now we're going to use it for concealer and i'm going to use my hourglass concealer I don't i know that she said you could use this for uh contouring and i don't really I didn't watch the whole video so I need to see for myself like how she did that um so we're following along with the Tati video 20 Let's but see. it is not the first one this. posted but I wanted to keep the beauty closed if it were leaving around there up here you can do that it is the best touch up tool ever you can put nothing on it and it is just going to be smooth and blend and blend because it's fine right here it's just a really easy blend if you do this with your fingertips you naturally always have a little bit of oil on your fingertips it's going to make things apart and it doesn't block like a okay. level I'm going to mute this just because I need her to get to the part where she does the um, contouring. So now I'm going to fold this um, how I see that she's doing it and do my concealer and see how this turns out. Well, that's beautiful. It blended out really, really pretty. Um, and it was really, really easy. Well, she says you can also use this for powder. Use my KKW, just put just a little bit on here and then set my under eyes. You know what I have to say? It looks freaking beautiful. Oh my gosh. I forgot to contour. Okay, well, we're going to do it with powder today. I'm setting my face with the Blendiful. Yeah, this looks so pretty. Get up close. I just made it look very blurred. I look super washed out, but yeah. So I did already um, set my face, but I have found that my um, KKW still blends pretty well, even over powder. So I wanted to use this for this because she said you can. So I wanted to make sure I gave this part of it a try, which is doing a good job. Mm, it's kind of leaving dots, um, which I've done this over my powder before, but with a sponge and it didn't do that. So. And I saw on uh, another YouTuber's video, I like how it did it though here. It really did a good job of not uh, taking it out too far, which is usually a problem for me. I love how pretty that looks. I'm going to use this palette. I'm going to use this color here. I'm going to use a brush. They know how I would blend like bronzer and stuff with a uh, puff. Now we're gonna use this corner for blush from this palette. We're gonna use a mixture of these two right here and with the puff because she says you can do blush with it. I'm gonna use the other side to kind of blend it out a little bit because it is a little, a little clown-like. And it looks pretty. It went on nice. Did she say you can use this for a highlighter? Because I have no idea. I mean, it works. It, I feel like, um, it's taking a lot more work to build it up than it would have if had I just used a brush. 
so far I like it for the foundation I think it looks beautiful I love it for powder I think it did a really nice job of blurring and making my skin look nice and smooth and soft did a wonderful job for contouring my cheekbones but not so much for my forehead um, that can also be the powder so we're gonna give him the blendiful the benefit of the doubt and uh, that it was possibly because I powdered first and then tried to contour after everything else pretty nicely the blush everything looks really really good obviously I can't do this I could use this for eyeshadow um, but this did a really good job with all of my face makeup it got into crevices of my nose really well um, it made my foundation and everything look really seamless and beautiful so far my thoughts on the blendiful is it did a wonderful job I would use this for foundation I would use this for powder and I would use this for smoothing out contour on the cheeks um, I don't really like it too much for highlighter um, it did an okay job with blush I'll have to play with it more to figure out how I would use it for the other things that she says you can use it for um, but so far I absolutely love it for foundation and powder so if you are considering getting the um, blendiful um, go ahead it did a good job it's not super expensive it's only 18 bucks and you get two so I think it's worth it it did the job um, it's cheaper than a beauty blender my skin looks nice and smooth I actually don't even feel like I need to mist because I think that it is worth every penny. so those are my thoughts on the Tati Blendiful Puff. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below. And um, I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and a wonderful month. And I will see you in the next one.